I really appreciate the attendance at the school workshop, the school finance workshop I had last month. Um, we had a, a great crowd and some really good questions. I'm working on the amendments to this year's budgets. What, what I've seen initially is that we have um, more in revenue than we planned on. We also have more in expenditures than we had planned on. So it would be nice if I thought that we were going to kind of break even there. I'm not sure, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to present um, at the December or January meeting those amendments to this year's budget. I'm sponsoring a, a contest for any group that would like to um, submit plans. I believe the deadline is tomorrow. Plans to uh, decorate and light up the outside of the central office and the uh, central office secretaries and staff, the, the real bosses of the central office, are going to decide amongst those plans and um, the winning entry will receive $300 and they'll be able to decorate our central office and make it look festive for the, for the season. I'm really excited about the partnerships that have been established and are, are uh, continuing between the school district and the community. I've met um, with the Marshall Saline Development Commission, the Cultural Council, the Kiwanis, the Chamber of Commerce, um, and members of the community are working with Mr. Peterson to establish a Marshall High School Alumni Association, which will be a real, a real great benefit to the community, I think. Um, we have teachers that are meeting with the Cultural Council on the evening of the 15th. So I think there are, are lots and lots of things that are going on around the community and between the community and the school. I think that is a, a great, the support from them has, has been awesome. Um, we have talked about and continue to talk about possibilities for district facilities and where we want to move down the road and looking at the long term rather than just um, what, what's going to happen within the next year or two. The board has a, a real gift for being visionary and they are, we, they continue their talks and I've joined those to look at 20 years down the road, 25 years down the road, as to what we're going to need here in this district, projecting student enrollment and what, what we feel will be the, the, the growth or whether we'll stay the same, what that's going to look like in the future, and what our kids are going to need facility-wise. Of course, the <laughs> safety of the children and the teachers and the staff who are in those buildings are our number one concern. So there are many options that we're, we're looking at. We, we have not decided on anything yet, um, but it's a very exciting time to look at, all, look at some options. Uh, the central office staff and the principals met with a representative from CISFIN, which is a, an accounting system that would improve, I think, the efficiency across the district for communication, accounting, um, they have many, many options that would really help uh, out the district in um, making our jobs easier and making them more efficient. So before we uh, move forward with that, of course, we'll report to the board and let, let you all know, but the, the package is very impressive and, and we're excited to possibly move forward with that. Um, Paul, Diane, and I continue to work on the CSIP plan and hopefully we will have a draft to go to the board and the staff after the first of the year. Um, there, was three, there were three goals that were mentioned in our last meeting and the three of us have added a goal number four, which is the Marshall Public Schools will be fiscally responsible with taxpayer money include, and include community members in short and long range decision making pertaining to continuous improvement of district facilities and educational offerings. So we're trying as hard as we can to include in all of our goals as, as much community involvement and to keep our school in the forefront of, of what's going on and moving toward, forward into the future. 